Hi everybody, I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and uh, we got our time solar tracker all put together. The actuator arm is on it. Uh, these rails, they're not all squared up or tightened down yet. We've got to just finish squaring them up at the top. But this is how it looks. When you put this actuator arm on the tracker, what you want to do is make sure the motor is down on the bottom side and this boot has a slit in the bottom of it. You want to make sure the slit is on the bottom to let any water out that might get in there. But this is going to get 12 uh, 230 or 250 watt solar panels on it. And we're, the grid tie inverters we're going to use, uh, we're not going to use M phase. I'll show you what we're going to use. Okay, this is what the inverters look like. These are Ames micro inverters. And we decided to go with these instead of the end phase inverters. And I give you a close up of what they look like. Okay, these are the Ames, these rigid 250 job. The uh, model number on these are PIGRID 250. And they basically are the same as the end phase grid time inverters. And this is the trunk cable that goes with them. All right, this is the trunk cable that you got have to get for the Ames inverter. So next video, I'll show you how we're putting this all together. So I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, and we'll talk to you later.